amazing country, but many foreigners don't realize that. And so that's why I made this video, to cover 10 awesome things about Uganda. Number 10, gorillas. Uganda has the most amount of gorillas of any country in the entire world, and it also has the highest density of primates in the entire world. Nine, diversity. Uganda may look small on the map compared to some of its neighboring countries, but the country packs a ton of diversity with over 56 different tribes. Number eight, birds. Over a thousand different species of birds and 56% of all the African birds are in Uganda. Number seven, lions can climb trees. At Queen Elizabeth Park in Uganda, you can actually see lions climb trees. And of course, you're probably wondering, why would lions do that? Even though lions may be the king of the jungle, there are things called bugs. Yes, during the rainy season, it brings so many bugs that lions try to escape them, and that's why they climb the trees to get away from them. Number six, affordability. One of the things I loved about visiting Uganda was it was extremely affordable. From eating, getting a hotel, and everything else that I would do, there are so many countries in Africa where you go out and people will rip you off, especially when they know that you're a foreigner. But in Uganda, I didn't get ripped off by really anybody. And not only that, I was given a fair price and it was quite affordable. So that's one of the things I loved about visiting Uganda. <music> Five, internet, great internet connection throughout the entire country, which might not sound like such a big deal. Um, I'm not talking updating Facebook or Instagram. I'm talking having nice internet connection so I can contact locals if I have any questions. I can make plans in the future. I can find hotels on my app on my phone. I can use Google Maps for driving directions. I mean, with phone service, it's so nice having internet really strong signal throughout your entire country. That made traveling around Uganda so great for me. Number four, not many tourists. Because there wasn't many tourists, I kind of got special treatment. People would go out of their way to be nice to me in Uganda. And so I really, really enjoyed my experience. And I think one of the biggest reasons was because I was kind of special because they don't get a ton of tourists. <laughs> Uganda is an amazing country, but many foreigners don't realize that. And so that's why I made this video, to cover 10 awesome things about Uganda. Number 10, gorillas. Uganda has the most amount of gorillas of any country in the entire world, and it also has the highest density of primates in the entire world. Nine, diversity. Uganda may look small on the map compared to some of its neighboring countries, but the country packs a ton of diversity with over 56 different tribes. Number eight, birds. Over a thousand different species of birds and 56% of all the African birds are in Uganda. Number seven, lions can climb trees. At Queen Elizabeth Park in Uganda, you can actually see lions climb trees. And of course, you're probably wondering, why would lions do that? Even though lions may be the king of the jungle, there are things called bugs. Yes, during the rainy season, it brings so many bugs that lions try to escape them, and that's why they climb the trees to get away from them. Number six, affordability. One of the things I loved about visiting Uganda was it was extremely affordable. From eating, getting a hotel, and everything else that I would do, there are so many countries in Africa where you go out and people will rip you off, especially when they know that you're a foreigner. But in Uganda, I didn't get ripped off by really anybody. And not only that, I was given a fair price and it was quite affordable. So that's one of the things I loved about visiting Uganda. <music> Five, internet, great internet connection throughout the entire country, which might not sound like such a big deal. Um, I'm not talking updating Facebook or Instagram. I'm talking having nice internet connection so I can contact locals if I have any questions. I can make plans in the future. I can find hotels on my app on my phone. I can use Google Maps for driving directions. I mean, 
with phone service, it's so nice having internet, really strong signal throughout your entire country. That made traveling around Uganda so great for me. Number four, not many tourists. Because there wasn't many tourists, I kind of got special treatment. People would go out of their way to be nice to me in Uganda. And so I really, really enjoyed my experience. And I think one of the biggest reasons was because I was kind of special because they don't get a ton of tourists. <laughs> Uganda is an amazing country, but many foreigners don't realize that. And so that's why I made this video, to cover 10 awesome things about Uganda. Number 10, gorillas. Uganda has the most amount of gorillas of any country in the entire world. Number five, internet. Great internet connection throughout the entire country, which might not sound like such a big deal. Um, I'm not talking updating Facebook or Instagram. I'm talking having nice internet connection so I can contact locals if I have any questions. I can make plans in the future. I can find hotels on my app on my phone. Let me start by thanking the Njo Municipal Government of Enan Province for organizing this event and for inviting me to deliver short remarks. The theme of this year's forum, which says tourism promotes economic recovery in the post-epidemic era, is very relevant to my country, Tanzania. Prior to the outbreak of COVID-19 in December 2019, tourism sector in Tanzania accounted for more than 17% of the GDP and was the major source of foreign exchange, contributing up to 25% of total exports earnings and created more than 1.5 million direct and indirect jobs. COVID-19 pandemic has reversed the situation in the year 2020 and 2021. Therefore, we are grateful to have the opportunity to promote Tanzania's tourism at the International Mayor's Forum. Tanzania is endowed with a variety of tourist attractions, including wildlife, for life, forests, wetlands, water bodies, beaches, islands, mountains, unique landscapes, as well as cultural and historical sites. We do have 22 national parks, 24 game reserves, 27 games controlled areas, 38 wildlife management areas, 19 nature reserves, one conservation area, three Ramsar sites, more than 125 archaeological and historical sites, and over 1,400 kilometers of coastline, three marine parks and 15 marine reserves, three great lakes of Africa, and Spice Island of Zanzibar. These attractions have often drawn a significant number of tourists from different parts of the world, including China. Let me, ladies and gentlemen, conclude my remarks by welcoming our Chinese friends to Tanzania, the land of Kilimanjaro, the rooftop of Africa. Mount Kilimanjaro is a snow capped all year round despite being two degrees south of the equator. It can be seen from the Kenyan side of the border, but you can only climb it from Tanzania because the mountain is in Tanzania. The land of Serengeti, placed to witness the largest animal spectacle on earth in the form of the annual wildebeest migration. There is nothing like it on this planet. The land of spectacular Ngorongoro crater, a 30 mile wide and about 2,000 feet deep crater created during the volcanic activity millions of years ago. It is the world's largest intact caldera. The crater is a dazzling sight with with its array of flora and fauna, and the bottom of this depression is home to thousands of wild animals. Almost all the species of the prominent animals of Tanzania is to be found in the crater, except, of course, with the giraffe. The land of Zanzibar, the ultimate paradise on Indian Ocean. Zanzibar has unraveled historical sites, beautiful sandy beaches, and pristine clear waters, good for swimming and ideal for scuba diving and snorkeling. A home to the unique, beautiful blue gemstone, which has become the darling of many women and favorite of jewelry around the world. This is the Tanzanite, Tanzanang. The gemstone is mined at five kilometer long mountain strip, lying some 30 miles east of Arusha town. To you all, ladies and gentlemen, I say, Wang Yi Da Ja Dao Tanzania. Let me start by thanking the Njo Municipal Government of Enan Province for organizing this event and for inviting me to deliver short remarks. The theme of this year's forum, which says tourism promotes economic recovery in the post-epidemic era, is very relevant to my country, Tanzania. 
prior to the outbreak of COVID-19 in December 2019, the tourism sector in Tanzania accounted for more than 17% of the GDP and was the major source of foreign exchange, contributing up to 25% of total exports earnings and created more than 1.5 million direct and indirect jobs. COVID-19 pandemic has reversed the situation in the year 2020 and 2021. Therefore, we are grateful to have the opportunity to promote Tanzania's tourism at the International Mayor's Forum Tanzania is endowed with a variety of tourist attractions, including wildlife.